Hi guys, if you are viewing my channel first time, please subscribe to my channel for more updates on embedded systems. Today we are mainly discussing about an LED interfacing with a 5 microcontroller. How we are going to uh, interface on LED to our 5 microcontroller that we are going to discuss mainly on today. And this is the LED and how to identify the LED pins. Uh, here we have the two pins and one is the anode and another is a cathode which is the pin having the highest length that we need to consider it as anode the other one is cathode and this is a symbol of LED and here the anode cathode this anode is positive cathode is negative and whenever we have this emptying uh, uh, lines then we need to consider it as it is a LED symbol and here the LED operating voltage is almost 2 to 3 volts that's why always we need to connect one uh, series uh, resistor to operate within the uh, 2 to 3 volts why because here I am just uh, giving the logic 0 or logic 1 to the LED logic 0 means 0 volts logic 1 means 5 volts whenever I am giving 5 volts to the LED it might break, break down okay that's why we need to connect always series resistor okay here uh, almost the 2 volts might drop here the remaining 3 volts will be uh, goes to this LED Okay, that's why always we used to connect one series resistor and here we'll see two type of uh, uh, LED interfacing techniques one is common cathode and another is common anode in case of common cathode cathode should be grounded this is a cathode should be grounded and the anode should be connected to the to the 805 microcontroller here in case of common anode anode should be connected to the 5 volts and cathode should be connected to the uh, 8051 pin uh, microcontroller pin okay this is a mainly interfacing to the uh, our 8051 microcontroller here this uh, common cathode configuration uh, whenever the logic one then only my led will turn on okay here the whenever the logic zero then only my led will turn on this is the mainly difference between the this uh, two types of interfacing Okay, here uh, we will also design our circuitry and also we'll see practically how we are going to uh, blow our LED. Okay, here I have the already existing project. I will open the existing project. Okay, we have already designed our project. Just I will go to the open project. No, I'll, I have not saved any program yeah, here. Go to the project. Here I have my initial 8051 circuitry. Here I have designed my power supply circuitry, reset circuitry and the crystal oscillator circuitry. Okay, right now we are designing one LED uh, interfacing circuit. Okay, here I am going to the library. I am searching LED here. Okay, here we can take any of the animated LED. Okay, next I will take the resistor also. I need to connect resistor uh, in series with the LED. Okay, I am just taking a resistor with 2.2 kilo ohms. Here, uh, this resistor we can connect uh, always series. It can be uh, before or after mainly. Okay. Okay, the other end I will connect to the ground. Okay, here we'll go to the terminal and uh, here uh, ground is there. Okay, just I will connect this one. Okay, always my resistor value should be 2.2 kilo ohms. Okay, whenever we are connecting uh, any LED and here uh, we need to change some options here it should be digital why because we are applying digital logic that's why this is digital okay right now I'm interfacing to uh, 3.0 pin number okay initially all port pins logic one okay here initially uh, port 0 we don't have internal pull-ups we need to connect external pull-up to use this port 0 but in case of port 1 2 3 we have already internal pull-ups and initially we have all our logic one okay here already I have programmed previously that's why I will remove the programming initially all the port pins are logic one means 5 volts and each uh, port pin we have 5 volts for example I am just feeding the 5 volts to the LED this will on okay this is a common cathode whenever the logic one my LED is on this is a common anode whenever the logic zero only my LED on this is a mainly difference Okay, I am just connected with the common cathode. Cathode I have grounded. 
this is i am just connecting series with the register let's see whether uh, it should turn on why because it is initially my logic one i am feeding to the led this should on okay see here the led is on whenever the my logic one initially my port logic is one my led is on for example if i want to turn off this common cathode led then we need to do some programming here okay i will uh, do you one programming initially my port pin is on and here after some delay i am using the for loop for the delay here unsign it In initially my port pins are all are uh, logic one okay here unsign it int uh, i for i equal to zero i is less than 65000 i plus plus okay here zero is less than 65000 again increment again one is less than 65000 until 65000 i will wait my uh, always my microcontrol wait here until 65000 similar way one more uh, for loop again i will wait 65000 times here finally i am making port 3 completely 0x00 that means all the port means i am sending the logic zeros my led off all the leds will off if i connect eight leds to the port 3 all the eight leds will turn off okay here the mainly i just uh, written the simple program this i am going to select okay initially my led is on see here initially on Okay, right now I am going to program. After some delay, I want to turn off my LED. That program I written with the common cathode. Let's see how the common cathode LED uh, work. Okay, initially is turn on. See here, initially will turn on, and whenever I am sending logic zero, then only my LED will off. See, after some time, my LED will turn off. Okay, this is my common cathode configuration. Common anode is different. This will be reversed. Okay, again I will remove my uh, flash program. Okay, initially we'll see. Initially, uh, it should be see here. Similar way, I have connected uh, both to the uh, in series, and here uh, there is no need of ground. This should be connected to the VCC. Okay, VCC. I have already designed my power supply. I am connecting to the VCC. This cathode. Uh, one minute, sorry. Uh, this anode should be connected to the v, uh, VCC. common anode configuration right now we are doing the second interfacing already we did the first interfacing the second interfacing anode should be connected to the uh, 5 volts dc power supply yeah anode i connected cathode should be connected to the pin uh, pin of the microcontroller this is a common cathode configuration this is a common anode configuration sorry okay this is a common anode configuration anode should be connected to the vcc and cathode should be connected to the uh, microcontroller pin number okay next here i am just playing uh, initial without any program if you see here i does not uh, flash any of the program initially uh, here i am supplying 5 volts the anode also i am giving the 5 volts to the uh, dc power supply okay both the sides i am giving 5 volts 5 volts now initially my port pin have, having the logic one 5 volts the cathode i am giving the 5 volts and also anode also 5 volts initially it will be turned off common anode configuration why because if, uh, here i am just giving the logic one logic one both the sides if i give the logic ones then initially my led is off okay just i am playing this one initially is off okay next one if i want to turn on the led i need to do some program okay initially i am giving the logic one after that logic zero after some time my led is on okay same program i am flashing it okay here the re reverse logic okay here uh, just uh, just i am flashing the same executable initially it will off after some time it will turn on why because whenever i am sending the logic zero my led is on okay after some time my led will on okay this is a mainly uh, they are operating in a uh, reverse order for example whenever i am giving the logic one this common cathode will uh, led turn on whenever i am giving logic zero this common anode led will turn on here mainly we can uh, change the program for example whenever i want to turn on or turn off if i want to do in, in a reverse order so that i can uh, modify the hardware instead of uh, modifying the software okay this is a mainly we can use any of the method we can try to interface to our microcontroller and we can use any of the method uh, for our interfacing okay thank you friends thank you for watching